in this tutorial we'll be making brawl star movement this is a footage from the actual game all right let's brawl i have this model i'm quickly gonna uh, set up its animations so there's an idle animation i'll just record a keyframe i'll remove loop time from idle animation and i'll also add the walking animation we'll make it transition and let's make a let's make a boolean i'll name walk walking with if it will be true we'll start a walking animation otherwise we'll go back to our idle animation now let's go to asset store and download joystick pack I'll be using this joystick pack I added loop time to our walk animation so our walk animation seems to be working remove exit time from both the transitions I'll add a canvas for our joystick you can see under prefab I'll be using dynamic joystick let me just scale it scale it down so in canvas I'll select scale with screen size alright so everything's looking great now I, I'll show you this in Brawl Stars there is a sprite uh, under the player that moves when the joystick moves and that's actually important for the movement of our player so I'll just add that sprite under our player now let's add a new script let's add a new script in our player game object I'll call it movement player movement let's open it in visual studios We'll be giving reference to our joystick. Let's see. And we'll give reference to our sprite that we just made. All right. These are serialized fields, so I can just drag them in Inspector. Let's start by giving player sprite its movement. So for that, I'll do that play, play sprite dot. We'll do joystick dot horizontal for X and joystick dot vertical for Z. I'll do minus 1.54 in Y to keep it just above the ground. Okay, so now it's fine i'll make player sprite as a separate object i'll add transform.position.x and transform.position.z so the player sprite moves with the player you'll see it's going with the player so our sprite will always stay now for our transform we'll have to look look at our sprite position so we'll do new vector 3 play sprite dot position dot x and play sprite dot position dot z if this happens in your case we'll I'll show you how to fix it so to fix it we'll just use transform dot euler angle equal to new vector 3 and we'll set the x value our x rotation to 0 and for the y we'll let it move freely so it will be transform dot euler angle dot y and for z again it will be 0 All right now let's save this and you should see 
our player is looking towards the sprite so now we can simply move it and we'll also make our walking boolean active so we can play the walk animation now to do so we'll check if this is true if joystick dot horizontal is bigger than zero or it's less than zero and we'll do the same thing for the vertical as well so let's just change horizontal to vertical same for if that's the case then we'll move transform dot trans vector 3 dot forward I guess I'll just test quickly to see if everything is working okay that's that's working let's just multiply it with time dot delta time and the movement is normalized now right so we got a movement let's give reference to our animator and make a serialize field for the same this to animator uh -huh. animator all right we'll drag our game object itself all right so over here let's do if animator dot get bool so the name of the boolean was i guess walking all right so if walking is not equals to true then we'll make it true animator dot set bool and in the else statement let's also make a boolean so we don't call the else statement again and again so i'll just do boolean movement all right over here we'll make movement equals to true this do as if movement is equals to true only then we'll change the animator's walking state back to false and we'll make movement false as well all right let's just test this okay so everything's working we'll take all these lines and put them in the if statement as well so that's done and let's change update to fixed update i hope it was helpful if it was then please drop a like and subscribe to the channel thank you